Yeah, yeah. right? Yes. Cool. Deal? Boing. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. There's a module for that? There, of course there is. All right. So, something really, really cool just happened. Uh, we... We got in the car and drove back to my old dorm. We rang the door and lo and behold, Steph opened the door. Steph is now living in this room, but I used to live here. This is the room where I got access to my very first high-speed internet connection and where I started the Drupal project. So I was working here roughly in this chair. There's a famous photo of me wearing the sombrero uh, working on Drupal, um, you know, right here almost 15 years ago. Go, do it. So, my dorm, um, the dorm where I started Drupal was in, a, in an older house. Um, we shared it. Um, so, it was a shared bathroom, shared toilet. Um, and it was four by four meters, I think, maybe a little bit less. And it had everything. So, it had my desk, it had my bed, it had a you know, closet, wardrobe kind of thing. It had a sink where I did the dishes, it had my microwave. And uh, at the, I mean, for a little anecdote, like at the time I was helping with the Linux wireless network drivers. This was in the early, early days of, of wireless internet. And I, I would get these cards from, you know, WLAN, WLAN cards from, from the UK and I had to help work on the drivers. And so every time I turn on the microwave, <laughs> the internet would drop every time there was a... Um, a truck driving through the street, the internet would drop. It was so unreliable, but it was the only way I could get on the high-speed internet. And so I was pretty determined to make this thing work. But anyway, everything I did was in this little room. Uh, and then we, sh and, you know, we didn't have a kitchen really. We had a little fridge, which was on the hallway. And on top of the fridge was like one of those camping fires, you know, like With stove. gas? Uh, not with gas, electric, but okay. it was like this little thing, and there's two, gosh, how do you call it? <laughs> These two. Oh, like hot plates, I think. Two hot plates, and so we could use two, you know, two things. <laughs> Spaghetti uh, and sauce. Exactly. Um, and well, that's how we rolled. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was pretty interesting. So it was in this street, it's called the Hilda Ramstadt. Um, there's a little supermarket here where I went so much. <laughs> um, but it's this brown building, 39. It's not pretty in any way. Hey, but they you got your reserved there. parking spot here. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They, they, they painted so, windows, it seems. I haven't been here in a long time. We're going to have to talk with the city council about getting a, a plaque put on the building. <laughs> Also, I'm not used to parking on this side of the road, which is going horrible. Um, oh. Yeah, and so one of the things we did is, so my friend lived there on the corner, and he actually got the fast internet. It was one of the first 10 people in Antwerp to get the fast internet, and his contract said, absolutely, don't share this with anyone. <laughs> and so the first thing we do is like, how do we build a wireless bridge between that house and my dorm? And so I called up Alcatel Lucent. They're now using Drupal, by the way. And they said, oh, it's fine. It's going to be $100,000. <laughs> I mean, this, this was how new the internet was. And so we kept looking around and we found this small startup in, in the UK that would ship us cards, but the drivers weren't ready. <laughs> Oh, and so that's how we got a wireless bridge set up between that. So all the way across the street? Across the street, yeah. And then we started... I mean, even now, the regular Wi-Fi doesn't doesn't reach that kind of distance. No, but it, it, it worked. We, we had to build, uh, like, directed antennas. <laughs> and so then, one night, um, we drilled a hole in the floor so we could run a cable from my dorm to the person below me. 
and then another night we basically run a cable across the street over some of these buildings because the white house next to my dorm there's a family living there and then the next building was you know students <laughs> and so over their balcony we ran this cape you know, uh, network cable so they could also get on the internet and so you shared it with that family no not or with you, the family oh you the skipped them students. with yeah yeah <laughs> but we used their uh, you know we would like tape it under their balcony and under their windows <laughs> and then into the other dorm and then so that's when i said no oh, no now we need the internet is working kind of now we need a message board so we can actually stay in touch because the other thing, actually the other key reason why Drupal was born was because, as I mentioned, when the microwave was on, when the truck was in the street, and also this DSL was very experimental, it was only 10 or so people at the time. And so it would drop all the time. <laughs> and so people were like, what's going on with the internet? And instead of them coming over, ringing my bell, I'm like, you know what, I'll just post it on this little message board. Uh, working, working, not working, you know, recompiling the drivers, <laughs> that kind of stuff. So anyway, that all happened here. Um, you're, wow, you're really tall. <laughs> so the, the window at the top there, the top floor. Now, where did you have to get the network from? So my friend was living um, you know, that house on the corner at the... The at red the, one? No, no, the white, the white Oh, the white one. On this corner. And uh, that was his window, actually, at the base level. Basically, it had to go that, that far, which is, what, 40 meters? Mm -hmm. 50? Yeah. So, yeah, it worked. I had to, like, point my computer. I was on a little table in front of the window, pointing. <laughs> Um, to his window and his computer was just behind that window so they could like literally have eye contact. And you have like <laughs> coffee can antennas or something? Yes. Yeah. We built directed antennas at some point too. The glamour Dries. I don't know. Yeah. I hope they're home. Love to see my old uh, old room. I think it's for, for like a, a game show or something. <laughs> <laughs> you can win one million dollars. You can win a free Drupal. That's right. Free website. <laughs> or ten. I'll have to come back another time. <clears throat> yeah, here was my bell. <laughs> you can see the leftovers in the wall. <laughs> and the famous sombrero photo. Right. was in that room, right? It was in that room. I'll put it on for you. So it will never die. Right. I want it to die, but it will never die. <laughs> well, you're the one who put it in your presentations <laughs> all, all those times. Yeah, but I stopped. <laughs> Getting in. I'll try Steph. Okay, try one, Steph. One last time. They're not, so That's you it. think they're away because they're not writing open they're, source software? Uh, I think they're in actually attending classes. Yeah, Steph answered. Ah, Steph. We are speaking with Dries Buitaert. I have here earlier on Kot gezeten. I would very like to see you to my Kot come and look. Can that eventually? That is right above. That is right above, yeah. Alright. Thank you all. Uh, it's the wrong door. Yeah, it's not this door. No, look, it goes oh, to the... It's connected. Alright. So this is my staircase. This is amazing. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. So this is this is my room actually. Mogu binnenkomen? Hi, Steph. Hi. I'm Jam. Steph. This is Dries. Hi, hey. Hi. Hi, you know. So. Hi. Hi. Ah. Uh, we have about. Uh, yeah. You want to? So, uh, this might sound a little weird, weird, yes. <laughs> but um, Dries invented some software that's had some level of success, <laughs> um, and he invented it in this room. And so we're just we're doing a podcast about about that. Okay. Have you um, do you have anything to do with computers? Uh, no. Have you heard of Drupal? Uh, no. Do you know what open source is? Oh. 
All right, give him the pitch, so this Jason. This is my room. Oh my God. This is a Kabir in Antwerp I used to do. Kabir here wants. My bed is on top there. My bed is on top And Kabir, what my cot Drupal is that? Drupal is software that was now used for one of the best websites in the world. Okay. From with the house right there up to. Al Jazeera, NBC, Sony, Warner Brothers, NASA. The Belgian That's government, a, European sorry. Commission, the Australian government. Oh. The irony, Dries. Look what's yeah. there. <laughs> That's right. So yeah, so my chair was right there. And that's where I sat. But it was very different. So now you can still see the marks, but my uh, man lovable is on here. Mm -hmm. My uh, kitchen sink was here. You can, I think you can still see it on the... Yeah. And then my desk was against that wall. I had like an Ikea shelf there. Um, and an Ikea chair there, and uh, was carpet too. So what are you inventing in this room? <laughs> what, what, are you, what, you are you, what are you study? What? Oh, my study, uh, pastry and chocolate. And... <gasps> really? Yes. Awesome! Yes. So cool. you could invent the next chocolate that yes, everyone think. will eat in the whole world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. That would be a, that that would be be awesome, a, a, a valuable contribution. Yeah. I'd like that. Uh, cool. I'd be thanked. Yeah, back it on. Too to see. Dries, how does it feel to see it again? Uh, it's it's it feels great actually. Yeah, it's 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 nice to see that they updated it because it's been updated compared to um, you know when I was living here. And also there there's a kitchen now. There wasn't a kitchen, so we had just a uh, fridge uh -huh. like, like this big, and on the fridge was um, like an electric cooking plate for two pots. <laughs> Um, and so that's it's so much fancier now. Yeah, <laughs> so it's nicer. And I remember I paid, um, I think it was 500, uh, I think this was still Belgian francs, <laughs> 500 Belgian francs a month um, for everything. There's no internet. Uh, I'm sure you have internet now. Yes. But um, I had to, there was no phone even, there was no video thing. Um, so, you know, like there was nothing. I, I didn't have a TV either. To put on the sombrero and sit in his chair for a second. <laughs> we're so lucky that you're actually here, though. Yeah, we're like, wow, imagine it's that way. We are in the room where Drupal was invented. That's right. Thank you. Right here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for stealing the shared DSL connection. You're welcome. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Very cool. So do people who are internet famous come over here a lot and ask to come in your room? No, I mean, <laughs> this is the first time. Are we ready? Yeah, go ahead. Alright, so, so this is really cool. Um, we just drove back to my old dorm room and we rang the door and lo and behold, the door opened and we're here in Steph's room now, which used to be my room. And so in this very chair, well, it's not my chair, but my chair was roughly here and it's where I started working on Drupal and where I literally spent hours and days, <laughs> you know, working on Drupal. Um, at the time, there was no internet in the dorm and so we set up a wireless bridge between this room and one of my best friend's rooms on the other side of the street and we used that to get this building on the internet, which you know wasn't technically allowed, but we did it anyway. And so once this building was connected, we ran cables over to the next building as well to connect other students. And once we had this little community going of people on the internet, I said, you know what? I should build a small message board so that we can stay in touch and we can talk about the status of the internet, but also so we can you know share some stories, share some jokes, uh, make dinner plans and all of these things. And so that's what basically um, created Drupal. Uh, at the time, I didn't plan on creating Drupal. I just wanted to build a very quick message board. And I figured I would spend a couple nights working on this in part to learn PHP and MySQL, but you know, obviously quickly grew out of control <laughs> and evolved into an experimental platform and then evolved into a content management system that's now. Let me do the script now. Okay. No? Yeah? Okay. Okay, yeah. 
Let me try. Uh, let me try real quick. <laughs> okay. Um, so today is a very exciting day. Um, today is a day that we start building and developing the future for the next billion users with the project that started right here in my dorm almost 15 years ago, Drupal. And so I want to thank all of the developers, all of the themers, all of the builders, all of the mentors, and everybody that is sharing in our vision uh, to change the world. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, you've got to, I've got to, got to do this. <laughs> I'll be the only person ever to have this photo with Dries, right. ever. With Dries, ever, <laughs> yes, okay. Let me take off my hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people will recognize but you because right. you see the hair, you know? Perfect. Woo! Awesome. Thank you, Steph. Oh, oh, man. Man. Sorry for crashing your room. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being a good sports. Memories coming back, please. I know. Yeah. yeah. But thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Success, my studies. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. This is a whole kitchen. Yeah. It's very yeah, nice. Right? Okay, so for the ones there, I think I did the good one. None of that was here. <laughs> this was. This used to be two houses. Like the when I was here. The, it wasn't open. Like there was two front doors. But not was since way out. Yes, sir. Not open. So. All right. That was cool, huh? Wow. I haven't been there in 15 years. Wow. Yeah, that was cool. So you stuck the wire across yeah. that balcony there? Yeah. <laughs> we did. <laughs> I don't remember how we did that. Oh, yeah, the wire went all the way to that window. To the to the yellow one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like just the uh, like UTP cable. <laughs> oh, why not? <laughs> that was awesome. Yes. He's like he was all the time looking like where's the where's the hidden camera here? Uh, <laughs> yeah. was he was very patient with us though. Wow. Yeah, that's cool now. <laughs> I mean, for me, it was cool. I don't know. Hi, so my name is Dries, and can we come into your room now? <laughs> sure, man, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. You know what open source is? No. <laughs> yeah. That would have been even better. Right? If, if it were like oh a, a, a computer science student. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah.